Hello everyone, I'm Clint Kloss, this is Mark Waters, and we are with MMAFaistro.com, the world's leader in online martial arts education. Once again, we have another exciting heavyweight matchup between the world's number one heavyweight champion, Fedor Ormelianenko versus Fabricio Verdun, a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu world champion as well as a heavy-handed fighter. The question is, can Verdun take advantage of this opportunity and solve the mystery that is Fedor Ormelianenko? Yeah, Fedor is a real tough matchup for anyone. He's one of the few remaining undefeated fighters out there. And he's got it all. He's got good judo throws, he's got a great ground game, he's a good wrestler, and he's definitely got knockout power in both of his hands. I think uh, for Fabricio, this is really going to come down to fight strategy, game planning, and execution. And I think we can point to a few videos of Frankie Edgar, who just caused the upset of the year in defeating BJ Penn for the lightweight title in the UFC and Dave Camarillo and look at what Fabricio needs to do to beat Fedor. MMA Paestro provides the best training videos in the world. What we're going to do, as Mark said, is take a look at Frankie Edgar, Dave Camarillo, two of the world's best, both as fighters and trainers, and see what they have to provide and teach us it could possibly be the outcome of this fight coming up. Okay, let's take a look at a lesson from Frankie Edgar, Cajun Wall Tactics. I think one of the keys to Verdum's success is not staying at that range where he can strike. Do you agree, Mark? I absolutely agree. He's going to have to stay on the outside and close that distance quick. And I think this is a great lesson because we've seen Fedor in the past get frustrated when he gets pinned and trapped on the cage. Let's watch what Frankie did. Obviously, see Frankie moving back and forth, assuming that's a cage behind him, getting the over-under position. He's controlling, controlling the fence work. If he gets reversed, he's got to put Fedor's back against the cage so that he can start to work his takedowns. So this is really going to come down to Good wrestling, getting that underhook, controlling that if you get turned, reversing your opponent. And I love how when you watch Frankie, he maintains that position to control the angle to keep him on the cage. And Verdun's going to have to do that. If he allows Fedor to angle out, he's going to end up eating one of those big overhand rights, and it's going to be a good night. Yeah, I, you know, I, and I, at, at this stage of the game, I don't think that Verdun is going to be, obviously his goal is going to be to get the fight to the ground, but I wouldn't be surprised as if he gets Fedor's back against the cage that he's going to let some strikes go. As we'll see in this next video, you're going to see Frankie start to unleash some strikes. I wouldn't be surprised if Verdun followed suit, but we, there's no question that he's going to want to get the fight to the ground so he can work his jiu-jitsu prowess. Especially if he can land in a dominant or top position. So the question is, will Verdun take a chance in exchange with Fedor? Obviously he's going to have to if he wants to close the distance. The question is, is he going to stay in the pocket and continue to throw? As we'll see in this lesson by Frank Edgar, Cage Chaos, he, he, once you get Fedor against the, his back against the cage, he's going to be less powerful. He still can exchange with strikes, but I think there's no question that he's going to want to get the fight to the ground and obviously impose his jujitsu his, his jiu prowess. Right, and unloading like this with the quick strikes to close the distance is exactly what Verdun is going to need to do. He's not going to be able to just walk in and close that distance. He's got him on the cage, make that space, let those couple of quick shots go, follow up with the bigger shots and try and finish the fight. Exactly, and then staying in the center of the ring favors Fader. He's very quick, very explosive, probably the most explosive heavyweight in the game. So again, using the fence and taking advantage of that leverage is going to be key for Verdun in order to be successful. Here you see Frankie taking the back. There's no question that Verdun's going to want to be able to do that to Fedor, but the question will be, can he get him there? Exactly, and that's, this is going to be the key right here, is coming in slow or quick explosive little punches into some sort of clinch, look for the takedown, use all of your weapons, knees, kicks, and try and get him rocked and finish that fight. 